Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Selena from Wholeness Campaign, and today I wanna to share with you a review of my top favorite, no VOC paint. We just recently did a whole house paint renovation. Um, our house is not super big, but it did take a lot of time. Let me tell you, we are still finishing up trim in this house and it might be a couple more months until we manage all of the rest of it but we have been able to thoroughly test out this brand called claire they are a no voc low toxicity paint um, that i have done a ridiculous amount of research uh, between different brands to be able to find and um, i really really had a great experience with them so i wanted to share with you in case you are doing any kind of home renovations i know that finding and sourcing materials that are safe for the people in your home, whether it's what you're breathing in, what you're touching, uh, what babies are licking, is really important, especially if you're looking to become a little bit more holistic about your health, take a look at all the different factors in your environment. Um, it's really important to take a look at the kinds of materials you're bringing in or the paint that you're even using. So I have a lot I wanna share with you about this brand. I wanna share my experience with it as well as just some of the different things I've looked for when it comes to paints and why I've settled on this brand above other brands. And I also wanna share just like some specific facts about this brand that make me love them so much. I have had honestly just a great experience with them. So I'll give you the whole rundown, all of it, and um, hopefully this will be helpful if you are doing your own research, which I always encourage, do your own research, sort through your brands. This is just what we've come to and this is uh, our experience and what we've found to be helpful. So I will start by saying that I have a very sensitive roommate who can smell toxic chemicals from a mile away and she was shocked that when she came back to her room painted that she smelled nothing. And then when I went into paint again, she smelled nothing during the whole painting process. So it really, really does live up to its name. Um, this isn't just based off of, you know, the information that you can get on their website and all of that. This actually does live up to it and I don't know how to describe it, but if you knew her, she just has a very strong sense of smell and she would be able to smell if there was a chemical in it no matter what. And she was really impressed with this brand. So if you are kind of like that, if you have like a really sensitive smell and you really are looking for that low odor paint, this is a really good option for you. So let's jump in. Okay, so when we're talking about low toxicity and non-toxic living, we really want to be clear that there really is no such thing as non-toxic when it comes to paint. The reason for that is that paint is inherently a chemical substance. So it's not a natural substance, unless of course maybe you're using a paint that's literally only made of edible materials. Um, you wouldn't wanna eat it. You wouldn't wanna lather it on your skin, even if it was considered low VOC. It's made of things that you really don't wanna be ingesting. Therefore, it is not non-toxic. If you ingested it, it still wouldn't be ideal. However, what we're talking about here is air quality and what kinds of chemicals are released when you go to paint, you go to use the product, um, what kinds of chemicals make up the actual substance of the product. For our purposes here, we're really focusing on indoor air quality, which is a huge, huge factor when you're taking care of your health and when you're wanting to create a healthier home and lifestyle. I have done a number of things that help with indoor air quality, such as getting air purifiers in our rooms, having air purifiers in our basements, making sure that the humidity is low. Um, we did do mold remediation. We've cleaned duct work. We've done all sorts of things to make sure that our air quality is good on top of, you know, making sure that we're not bringing in chemicals into the house, not using chemical cleaners or chemical personal care items perfumes, all of it. Um, we're also wanting to make sure that the things we're bringing into our homes like paint to make our home look nicer because that's important, um, isn't adding to that toxic load. So how this can happen is that you're actually just breathing in these chemicals on a daily basis. And what we're trying to mitigate is really just intoxicating our lungs with those chemicals. Basically, we're not looking for a paint that you can eat, um, but we are looking for a paint that is high quality and we were definitely looking for one that didn't 
release as many volatile organic compounds, which is what VOC means. So, so really a lot of these claims to be eco-friendly and to be non-toxic are not really accurate descriptors of what the paint is actually doing. So I generally am actually looking for words like that in a lot of their marketing because I wanna know, has this company actually dug deep? Have they actually done the testing that they need? And a lot of times these buzzwords, when you can include something like that, it catches people's attention, but it is not. it doesn't actually necessarily mean that the paint is no VOC or low VOC or no odor or contains no, like none of these harsh chemicals. It might just mean that they're trying to attract the kind of audience that would be, you know, interested in a word like that. So again, I'm always looking to kind of go a little bit deeper beneath the surface. I want to make sure that the research I have is like actually, we're actually getting as good of a product as we can get. There are brands like Milk Paint and other kinds of paint I've seen on the market for kids uh, who will probably be ingesting some of it and putting it on their skin that actually in some ways are edible because they used these uh, different kinds of powders that are food based. The actual base of it is made of something that's a lot more, or at least closer to being edible. I haven't done all the research into those. Um, but the reason why I didn't choose milk paint in this instance was because I just didn't get a lot of great reviews around milk paint being great for quality. So especially when it came to walls, I've seen a lot of people use them on furniture but I've heard people complain about the quality when you actually put it on a wall. People rave about it, some people love it. I just didn't wanna risk it. And so when I um, did my research, I was looking for also really making sure that this is gonna look good on the wall and it was gonna be easy to use. So let me talk a little bit about uh, the standards that Claire has. They are a zero VOC paint. So they actually get tested annually to make sure that they still hold up to these standards. They are green gold certified, which doesn't necessarily mean a ton. It definitely means that you'll be in the low VOC category because it um, that's, that certification basically makes sure that it is less than 360 um, VOCs or chemicals per, I think, liter. Um, but that doesn't necessarily mean a ton. So Claire goes above and beyond to make sure that it is a zero VOC paint, which basically makes it ultra low odor. And you can smell that. Like it definitely smells like something, but it doesn't smell like chemicals, if that makes sense. On top of that, Claire also goes the extra mile to make sure that it is a zero VOC colorant. So a lot of times brands will actually claim that their paint is zero VOC, but they won't actually test the colorant in the paint. So they might actually just test the paint itself and then they might add something to it that causes the actual complete product to not be zero VOC. But the colorant is an important part to test because that does influence how it is experienced in the home. It is free of toxic air contaminants as well as hazardous air pollutants. And there is a scale for those kinds of things as well as anything that is on the Environmental Protection Agency's list of concerning chemicals. So none of that stuff is in their product. It's completely free of those things. And again, like I said, it is not just a low VOC paint, but is a no VOC paint. So a lot of brands nowadays are actually um, coming out with lines of paint that are low VOC or um, non-toxic or, you know, have score less VOCs when they're tested. However, the cool thing about Claire is that all of their paint actually meets the standard. So I've said this before, but I, I generally don't trust brands that release a product that is, you know, satisfies the consumer demand for, you know, low VOC paint, but they haven't actually made the rest of their products the same. Generally, I think that that is a company looking to satisfy consumer preference above um, their ethical concerns or their actual values. And so I don't necessarily trust brands like that. I don't trust that they're actually looking at the full spectrum of possibilities. Those would be the kinds of brands that I feel like would be more prone to putting a VOC colorant in there, but a, putting a no VOC label on there. They just might be cutting corners in ways that I'm not necessarily comfortable with because they obviously don't value the actual no VOC label enough to make it on all of their products. So. 
as much as I am glad that these different brands like Sherwin Williams and Bear are coming out with these no VOC lines, low VOC lines, I think that's great. Um, it's a great step in the right direction. I don't necessarily trust brands like that just because if they really had the value for it and it wasn't just about the consumer, they probably would have gone a little bit further and actually switched their whole line. But most of the time they're not willing to do that. So again, this just makes it safer for babies. It's making it safer if you are gonna be doing the painting yourself and you get some on your skin, obviously it's still not ideal. A lot of people, if, they're, if they've been struggling with chronic illness or they're aware of how chemicals can affect their body, will just not do house projects in general. And that's not really an option for us. So I've been doing a lot of the painting and as much as I am trying for it to not get on my skin, when it does get on my skin, I'm not freaking out about it. Um, and I actually would be pretty concerned about getting most conventional paint on my skin because of how many chemicals are actually in there. Still not ideal to have on your skin. I do wash it off, you know, as soon as I can, but um, I have less concern about it. Also, there's a lot of concern about lead in paint. Claire does not have lead in their paint. You know, it's kind of a weird thing, but I've actually heard of kids being like addicted to licking walls. And I heard that it's actually because if you have lead in your paint, lead actually makes the paint taste a little sweeter. And so kids will actually just like lick their walls. Anyway, um, terrible. But again, something that Claire makes sure is not in their paint. It just makes it overall a lot safer for kids to be around, for us to be putting our hands all over. If it was to get on your skin a little bit, it's not a big deal. I do wanna take a minute to compare Claire to Ecos. I'm not sure if you've heard of Ecos, but Ecos is another extremely popular um, low VOC paint on the market right now. I would say they're a little bit more popular than Claire. They've been around longer, I think. I have actually tried Ecos and I am a fan of Claire more. I will say they were both good. like. I didn't feel like I would, one was had chemicals and one didn't. They both fit my quality standards in terms of like by the books, like on their websites, making sure they're checking all my boxes. However, when I was using Ecos, I found that it was for one more expensive. So by the by the gallon, it was more expensive, and I also felt like it didn't go as far. So we used an entire can of paint and felt like there wasn't actually even enough to do the two coats um, for our basement bedroom with an Ecos paint. I didn't feel like it covered very well. It wasn't very thick. I probably could have primed it because the walls were slightly darker underneath, but I didn't feel like it actually gave a really thick, clean coat. And I ran out in the end and wasn't able to like make sure that all the walls had like that really good finished look to them. Um, it was just thinner. I felt like it was thinner. I felt like it didn't cover as well. And it actually was, in my opinion, a little bit of a stronger smell. Um, so I don't think in terms of like a VOC count, it was different, but I'm not sure exactly what, I don't know exactly what was different, but Claire definitely had an even milder smell in my opinion, maybe it's just a preference. A little bit less odor I found um, in Claire's. On top of that, I really did feel like Claire actually went on smoother. It was a lot thicker. Again, I felt like it was great quality. People who we were painting with actually compared the quality to Sherwin-Williams. It was not splashy. Like you didn't get like speckles everywhere when you were painting. It was very thick. It covered the walls really well. Like we did do two coats, but yeah, just compared to Ecos, I felt like it was thicker. So not only did Claire require less paint than Ecos, but it was also more affordable per can. And so for me, this was a no brainer. It was about $20 cheaper per can than Ecos. Um, they have really great deals on their website, honestly, for paint. It's not that much more expensive than what you would be paying for a high quality, you know, mainstream type paint. And overall, they were really just an easy and really great company to work with. They had really affordable paint swatches. The paint swatches were very accurate to um, what it ended up looking like. And it gave me a really good idea of what colors would be great in what rooms. And we actually way over ordered because I was expecting it to be as thin as the Ecos paint when we painted downstairs. Um, and so I literally ordered, I think, double of what I needed and ended up needing to return and their return policy was great it was you can return everything within 60 days i think each paint gallon cost seven dollars to return 
but you'd get the full refund within the 60 day window. And they gave me a free shipping label. It was just a really easy process. I packed things right back up in the boxes that they came in and um, it, it was great. Their team is really responsive over email as well, which honestly can be a big deal when you're dealing with some of these brands because um, not all of them have great customer service, but I felt like Claire was really great. They also have a happiness guarantee. So if you're not 100% satisfied, they will actually refund you the money for the paint. And even the containers, the trays, and the liners are made from recycled materials and the shipping, um, you know, the tape and all of the boxes and everything was made from 100% recycled material. So um, really good for the environment. It doesn't claim to be like a biodegradable paint, but it is a lot more sustainable of a brand, a brand that's thinking about these things. And when they're thinking about the planet, they're usually thinking about you too. So it was also really easy to get off of our wood floors, our laminate floors, as well as our skin and our clothing. Once we were done, you just had to wash it right away. Um, but even the paint that got on the laminate and the hardwood that I didn't get up for a couple days actually came right off. So it wasn't, didn't ruin our hardwood floors, um, our laminate. I mean, laminate is generally easy for paint to come up with, but I felt like it was pretty impressive that it came up so easily on all of our clothing too. Anyway, I really love this paint. I'll give you some footage here on the rooms and how they turned out. I really, really loved them. Definitely would use this paint again. Probably gonna be the only brand I'll use, honestly, because it checks all my boxes and the quality was just so high. But if you got any value out of this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It is my passion to walk alongside people as they heal and grow. It inspires me and hopefully brings encouragement to you. Thanks for watching.